Good morning. I'm Donna and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you five tips for um, adding holiday decoration and uh, spirit to your to your bathroom. We're in my bathroom right now. Uh, it's a very small bathroom. Donald and I have lived in this house for 37 years. We raised three children in this bathroom and we've learned how to share it and uh, this has been our, our home bathroom. It was our only bathroom for a very long time. Uh, when it gets cold outside, it's a cold November day. This is the first week in November. And there's frost out on the ground. And it was really cold last night. But it's really got me in the mood to start to decorate and get ready for the holidays. Thanksgiving's coming up in just a few short weeks. And we have uh, three grown children with mates and six grandchildren and we have family and friends that we love and we look forward to uh, to seeing every year at this time of the year for the holidays. We count that a blessing to be able to uh, share this time with the people that we love and uh, so it's got me in the mood to start thinking about uh, just freshening things up for the holidays. My style um, is is a traditional nostalgic cottage. I'm not a minimalist by any means. Our home is made up of um, things that we've uh, collected over the years, things that have sentimental value to Donald and I. And uh, it is something that we, um, we live with. It's what we feel comfortable in. Donald was uh, raised on a farm. They farmed tobacco. And I lived in a 200-year-old uh, farmhouse until I married Donald and uh, we I moved out and made my own home. So um, antiques and traditional stuff is just it's a uh, it's just our style. So you're going to see a lot of those things in here, and a few of those things are what we incorporate into our decorating. Um, but I think the first tip that I, I wanted to share with you is simply to clean. Um, clean you, the space, whatever space you're decorating in. In this case, it was the bathroom, so I got in here and just wiped things down and cleaned this morning. Of course, I make my own cleaner, but there is another cleaner that I really like to use. I use it a lot, uh, and especially at this time of the year, it's, it's good to use. This is the Pine Glow Cleaner. It's, from, uh, it's made in North Carolina, and it has a pine scent. It's just a pine cleaner. It's inexpensive. And it, uh, pine is a traditional Christmas uh, holiday scent, so I, I love to clean with that, uh, especially around the holidays, even, even though I make my own cleaner. Uh, that's something I will use around the holidays to get that nice, clean scent. So that's my first tip, is to clean your space and clean it with something that you uh, enjoy smelling and makes you think of the holidays. My number two tip is to change your soaps out. Simp something as simple as the soaps. Um, here on this shelf, Donald made this shelf for us. It uh, holds our collections and our hooks for our towels, so it's a focal point in our bathroom. And I have a, a little refrigerator uh, dish that I've um, gotten from an antique store, and I like to use it as a soap dish on this shelf. And every season I change the soaps. This little soap was here for the summer, and I just decided to go ahead and leave it for the fall uh, since it had, was yellow. But the little bees and everything on it was so cute. I usually get these soaps from Home Goods or TJ Maxx. Um, you can take any soap that you have and just wrap it in a, an appropriate paper, especially Christmas time. Uh, but we're going to change this out and put a Christmas soap here. It's a very simple uh, change to make and decorate. It's got a little truck on it and a little plaid soap with a little sparkly garland across here. So that's one of our first tips is just to change your soaps into a holiday uh, look and scent. Now the soaps over here on the uh, beside the sink, I made this big soap for uh, the holidays. So I'm going to leave this up here. This is pumpkin scented soap. I'll be leaving uh, this here until after Thanksgiving. And this is pumpkin soap. So I won't change those out until after 
um, the hand lotions and the kid soap. I won't change the the uh, Thanksgiving soap out until after Thanksgiving, and then I'll put a little Christmas tree or I've got a little snowman soap pump that's uh, carrying an ornament. The kids love that one. I'll put that out for the um, Christmas holiday, but for since it's not after Thanksgiving, I'll just go ahead and leave the ones I have out until uh, after Thanksgiving. So that's um, tip number two, is just to change your soaps. Uh, your hand soaps and your uh, decorative soaps that you have around in your bathroom, get something holiday scented. And uh, it's a, a subtle touch, but it'll make a difference. And number three is just put some greenery out. Now I've cut some greenery from uh, the yard. It's nothing, nothing too fancy here. Got a few pine balls and a few uh, green, green things off of the bushes. Some rosemary in here. Just some real simple things. Uh, what we're going to do with those is I have some antique bottles here. My husband, uh, he grew up on the farm. His family owned a farm in Boonville. And these uh, bottles, when we went to, for the last family reunion, he uh, went to the place where they used to dump all of their stuff. Uh, years and years over the years, uh, they had a, a like a dump site about a mile away from the house. And that's where they would put all of their empty bottles and cans and things. Well, he was able to go there and... Uh, he, he got some of these bottles, and so we, we decorate with these. They're sentimental. They're from his family farm there, and uh, every season, like in the summer, I'll have lavender or um, calendula flowers or things like that in these little bottles, but during the winter, I've taken all those out, and we're going to use some of these dried um greenery that we got from outside, we're going to put some of those things in some of these bottles. We're going to decorate just simple, simple greenery. And that's a real subtle touch. Um, just to incorporate some of the little green stuff from the yard there. If you had red berries, that would be really pretty. Or you could even add a red bow. So now we've got our soap changed out and we've got our greenery up. The next thing we're going to move to is just simply making your bathroom smell good. You know, your bathroom, no matter how small, no matter how simple, it's the place you go to, to um, at the end of the day when you're dirty and you're uh, tired from the day and you wash off all of your uh, troubles and uh, you just get in there and uh, rejuvenate yourself. And it's a, it's a pleasure to have a pleasant, clean bathroom, a place to come and... Uh, to do that and in the morning if you take a shower in the morning it invigorates you for your day you get ready in here um, a lot you know people put their makeup on and put their uh, get ready for their day and it, it's an important part so it's uh, it's a simple you can simply decorate it and uh, make it more pleasant to do that with and number four would be smell um, there are certain smells, we, we covered a little bit of that in cleaning, but there are certain things that just uh, make you think of Christmas. And I have some uh, essential oils. If you watched my video on the 10 essential oils, that I, uh, 10 ways I use essential oils in my home, uh, you already know there's a couple of good ways to use them in the bathroom. Well, uh, clove is a good Christmas scent. Whenever you use cloves, that always makes you think of Christmas. Cinnamon, tangerine. I mean, is there any more Christmas scent than tangerine or oranges? 
I, I just remember always getting fruit around Christmas and the, the tangerines and oranges and the nuts and things. They smelled so good. And then, of course, how can you forget the peppermint? The peppermint is what candy canes have in them. Uh, so a little bit of peppermint is always like a Christmas scent. But I have this little uh, potpourri ball that I ha that hangs in my bathroom. So I'm just going to put a few drops of um, clove, cinnamon, and uh, tangerine on this little uh, potpourri ball that I have. And that'll give it a nice Christmassy, Christmassy smell. We get, when we go into some of those higher end boutiques and uh, antique stores, and that's one of the things you always notice is, is the wonderful smells. And you can have that in your house, too. Your house can always smell wonderful. So you'll hang that right there in the bathroom. It hangs behind this mirror. And it'll let off scent right here when you wash your hands when you're right here by the sink. And, of course, there's candles. Candles are, are a really good way to incorporate... Um, a good Christmas scent into your bathroom for the holidays. And the number five, my last tip for you, since I don't have a window in this bathroom, um, I have a stained glass window that I bought at an antique store, but I don't have a window. This uh, shower, uh, shower curtain it's probably one of the biggest impacts in my bathroom. So, changing your shower curtain for something that's uh, holiday spirited. This one has a deer and an old truck and a farm and a Christmas tree. And it says Christmas tree farm and some candy canes. That, uh, that'll have a big impact. And uh, a few red towels, uh, maybe. Or even... Uh, a green towel here or there. You know, if you use traditional colors, but just a Christmas towel of some kind, um, those things, those things will have a big impact. So we'll change this towel out because it's green one with the trees on it. And so that's our uh, five tips for incorporating holiday decor into your bathroom for the holidays. I hope you enjoyed these five tips. I hope they're uh, things that you can incorporate into your bathroom, into your home. I thank you for letting me share them with you today. I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you soon.